The COVID-19 pandemic has definitely caught the world off guard. Many persons are experiencing increased anxiety, not knowing what the future holds. They've found themselves asking questions such as, what will happen to me if I die? Will my children, my loved ones, and my assets be protected? Proper estate planning will help ease some of this anxiety. There are many tools used to achieve proper estate planning, including creating a will. A will is a testamentary document which allows you to determine how your estate and affairs will be handled upon your death. A will can be one of the most important documents for yourself and your loved ones. It will give you the opportunity to determine who is to benefit from your estate and how they are to benefit. It gives you the opportunity to provide for your loved ones, especially minors or dependents, by appointing a guardian and determining how assets should be used for the maintenance and care of those persons. A will is also useful for minimizing potential family conflicts. It also is very cost efficient, simple, and gives you that flexibility to make any amendments at any time you'd like by simply destroying the old will and creating a new one. It is often recommended that you appoint more than one person to be your executor, just in case the executor that you wanted to appoint cannot act is unwilling or unable or incapable of doing so when required. The executors appointed by you must be persons you consider to be trustworthy, reliable, objective, and resourceful. Remember, they are stepping into your shoes and will be administering your estate. It is also useful that you consult the person that you are thinking of making your executor. When leaving your gifts, ensure that you are very specific. The gift should be described adequately so that the executive can easily identify the gift being given. Ensure that the persons that are receiving the gifts are adequately described and identified. Residuary clause is extremely important in any will. This is often called the catch-all clause, which will capture all assets that were not specifically mentioned in the will. There are certain formalities set out in the law that must be adhered to in order for your will to be deemed valid. One, the will must be in writing. Two, you must sign to the foot or end of the will. Three, you must sign the will in the presence of two persons who must be present at the same time. Ensure these persons are over the age of 18. Four, it is not recommended that the witnesses be beneficiaries in your will. There's a high burden of proof that would be required to be satisfied in order for these witnesses to obtain their gifts. Just to note that marriage revokes your will. So if you had a will prior to your marriage, you must destroy that will and create a new one for it to be valid. 